Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another edition of, uh, I don't know what this is, nah. Welcome back to uh, ModelBuilderInternational.com with me, Kenny Conklin. And if you watched the update on the Kazon Torpedo Build Part 9, we found out that the lights got a little messed up in the wings. And though I didn't blow it up, I didn't smash it, I went to bed, and I got up this morning, had some breakfast, and took everything off the stand and started to work on it. So one side I've done so far and I got lucky with it. And what I was going to do is I was going to take my Dremel and I was going to use the cutting tool and I was going to cut the halves apart. But I was thinking that was going to leave too much of a gap and too much filling and I didn't want to ruin it that way. So what I started to do was I used my X-Acto knife and I found the seam and I just started at the tip and I started slicing in, slicing in, slicing in across the seam and, it's and for some reason the camera just stopped and I had to start it again, it stopped automatically, that was weird. Anyway, so did a little at a time and popped it all off and the, the light and everything is in there and I get to change this one now. Now that side was easy for me because I'm a righty and I had easier access to it. But we're gonna see if I can do the same thing on this side and pop it open. If I can, then it's not too bad. I just gotta re-putty and change the lights and we'll start to find where the, where the seam is. Ah, I didn't cut straight like I did before. And this is what you guys gotta do. Oh, you don't gotta, but it'd be nice. I'm gonna start, oh, who's calling me? I'm gonna ignore the phone while I'm doing this because probably my wife that's on vacation with my son letting me know how much of a good time they're having but anyway I'm gonna start a model side uh, hotline this way you guys when you get frustrated don't go around breaking your models we don't want that you guys work really hard on what you're doing out there and I enjoy a lot of your videos everybody that I've subscribed to that has videos out there Let's see, there we go. Got my tip in there. And let's see. Let's see if it'll keep going without snapping it. Just take your time. Take your time. Tip in here again. Yep, doesn't want to go yet. And this is glued with CA. I bet you the phone rings again, or my work phone is going to ring. And then the house phone will ring. And I'll just have phones going off all over the place. I'm not too worried about the the outside edge here because that will get uh, sanded down flat, and then we'll put then we'll put the uh, which call it bondo back on and get it sealed up again. I'm thinking that I might not be on the seam. The other side, of course, the side I did first without videotaping is uh, the one that came apart much, much more easy. The other thing I don't want to do is I don't want to, I don't want to stab my hand. All right, 
So you get the idea, go slow, go slow. I'm gonna call myself Kenny two times. And uh, break this guy apart. So we'll, we'll pause it for here. That's why you don't have to sit here watching me for an hour scraping at this thing and then uh, hopefully it comes apart and we'll be, we'll be back with it. Well, I'm back. After uh, not too long, we got the one half off, we got the light out, got the other half off, and the other light out. And I would like to thank my buddy Simon Merckx for the encouragement of uh, going slow and getting this apart and uh, put in a good word with the modeling gods for me that made this uh, quite easy to take off as long as I went slow and found that CA was uh, relatively easy to take off. Both halves, I gotta sand this stuff down, get it back to where it belongs, this way it'll get on there again. I'm gonna make up two more lights, we'll get those guys in there, and uh, we'll test it out again and hopefully it's all working, which will let us get on to more, uh, more of the Kazon build. What I know I'm gonna have difficulty with is, let me flip this guy around. I'm not gonna, it's hard to see with the shadow in there, but there's a nice gap between the, uh, the engine and the, the body of the ship itself, so I gotta get a toothpick out or something, get it in there, putty all that up, and uh, hopefully move on today and get, get a lot done. I hope, I hope, I hope. So anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna set up to do some soldering, which I emailed my brother Tom the other day and I was like, yeah, look, my welds are getting better. He's like, don't call it welding. Somebody out there that's a welder is gonna get pissed off. It's like, yeah, welding, schmelding, soldering, same difference to me, but now it's soldering. I know the difference. It's just certain words pop into my head and I use them. So let me get that stuff out and uh, start working on that. Well, boys and girls and children of all ages, uh, the Kazon Torpedo is out of surgery. Oh, I'm knocking into the tripod. It's out of surgery and she's doing well. I got her. I got her. There it goes. Got the wing halves on again. Got the putty on, the bondo, waiting for all that to dry so we can sand it down. And then uh, we'll be good to go. And we'll be back where we were. Well, a little ahead. Anyhow, because I've been working on other things while, while this is doing its thing drying. And before that LED, this little yellow one, that wooden light that we just uh, that we just soldered to everything actually does work. And what I did, knucklehead that I am, hey, let me hook this this guy up. Where is it? Where is it? It's over there. It is. There it is. See. Is the little LED that I cut before. And what I like to do is cut it and cut it at an angle so the positive is longer than the negative. And what a knucklehead me do, I cut it the opposite way and I just had the polarity wrong. So instead of taking it apart, I could just tag that wire that the white wasn't positive anymore, the dark was positive, and the white was uh, negative. But I took it all apart and redid it anyhow because you know what if I do it that way I'm gonna mess up something anyhow so you live and you learn so that's what's going on still with this guy right down here she doesn't like the paparazzi today she just wants to heal up and uh, be fixed so I'm gonna keep working and uh, add some more to this video and see what we could get done and post it up today well, here's the messy desk. Um, been working on the ion collectors. Cut out the plastic, opened them up. Now I gotta figure out if I'm gonna use the, uh, the acrylic or if I'm gonna use a diffusion sheet in there. And these guys go on the kit right here. And I'm gonna pop, uh, just make a hole, pop an LED in here. I still might cut out these two top ones. But the back of it, which I thought was a thruster last time, is not a thruster. It's uh, 
it's actually, whoa, what was that big flash? It's actually just a vent. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up, there it is, open up the end of that and just paint it black inside because a vent isn't gonna have light in there. And this thing, man, when they casted it, look at that, look at that freaking gap in there. So that's gonna get filled up and then uh, scribe the lines across and it'll look oh so pretty. Yes, models look oh so pretty. And I'm gonna actually look up online, <clears throat> excuse me, if ions actually have a color. Most likely not, but you know, I'll probably find it online because everything online is true. <laughs> Bonjour. If you haven't seen that State Farm commercial, you gotta check it out. Um, and our little girl here is out of intensive care. She's, she's all puttied up again, back in place. And where is it? I'm trying to flip it so you can see. There it is. Wings on, I still got a little sanding on there because a couple spots uh, the bondo didn't dry all the way through because I put too big of a glob on there. And, um, and what was I gonna say? Oh, it doesn't dry, it comes, it comes like rubbery. So, what I'm gonna do is, so I got all excited yelling yay, we got lights and what happens? The card is all full and probably got cut off somewhere. So, I have to go and look at B&H and see uh, what the biggest memory card they have is and how much that sucker's gonna cost me. So anyway, there's the bottom two lights. I didn't hook up the third one because we were just worried about these guys. And there he is on the top there and the top there. I'm not gonna put it together. I'm gonna work a little bit more on the, uh, whatchamacallit, the ion collectors. And you're looking at my wall, and oh, Jesus Christmas, Kenny. You gotta zoom these things out before you scare somebody. Anyway, I'm gonna work on that a little more, finish that up, and then I'm gonna order me some Chinese food for dinner. I'm gonna sit down and watch Ink Masters, and uh, then Tattoo Nightmares. I have a Tattoo Nightmare, I gotta get mine covered up. Got one good one when I was 18, and then I got one really bad one when I was in the Army. But what are you gonna do? These things happen when you're young and foolish. Um, thank you guys for, for watching the videos uh, coming up. And tonight just isn't my night. The camera decides it's gonna stop on its own while I'm in the middle of saying thank you to you guys for uh, coming to the YouTube channel and MBI and all that other stuff. But thanks a lot, guys. Uh, definitely appreciate the words of encouragement. Thank you, Simon, for uh, your words of encouragement, take my time and all that other stuff. And I did exactly as you said, and things have turned out pretty well. Um, that's pretty much it for the night. Now I gotta go order me some beef and broccoli with white rice, have some dinner, watch some TV, and off to bed, and then back to this guy tomorrow. I think uh, I think tomorrow I could get the rest of the lights in and have her buttoned up, and then just uh, wait on the base, and get some other parts I need for. Uh, the electronics and uh, hopefully in the next couple weeks call her done so thanks again everybody I really appreciate uh, you watching the videos makes me feel happy so I hope you uh, <coughs> excuse me I hope all of you guys have a very good night and I shall see you tomorrow probably making another one take care everybody bye bye Thank you.